wins and a pretty deep run as well in the summer finals. So we're going to see how it works out here in BFA. Yeah, you know, one trend I'm noticing in North America is a lot of people are playing Panda for the additional versatility, extra damage, a little bit of extra survivability, but they're really, really utilizing it. You can see basically everyone from the Ghost Group is playing that Panda right now. A lot of damage over on the Sam I am. Peak Boo doing some decent burst with that kitty shot. Wiz Kate is charging in. Gets the incapacitate on the CD, potentially into a full fear. There it is. CD unfortunately not going to be able to tremor, so that's very smart by Wiz Kate. All right, nice moves from the Panda squad. I think they're all packing pandas. No app search. Come on, man. He's an orc? That's not fun, dude. <laughs> Did you just <laughs> say packing pandas? Yeah. I don't know, man. <laughs> They're just having a good time. Trill's popped his uh, metamorphosis. He's going to be doing a ton of damage, but it does appear that Whiskey is playing the Veiled Eye Trinket, so he's absorbing all the incoming bursts. Sam I Am's incarnation has been popped as well, so Trill and Sam I Am would really like to start building up some momentum. Trill is the highest damage dealing person in the game right now in Arena. He's been consistently doing 11,000 or if not higher DPS, which is sometimes more than the combined damage output of an entire team. We're going to have to see how well Absurd deals with it. Yep, Sam I am getting lower though. Peekaboo and WizK definitely know how to put out some pressure themselves. Absurd's known to play very, very aggressive. Have to see how he manages his mana in this game. So far, C2 is way ahead, so it's something that is definitely a win condition for Method Orange. Well, right now we can just both quickly see that both Shamans are not playing that Spirit Link to uh, talent, and this is going to be more likely a mana war from the side of Method Orange. And of course, the Ghost Crew want to be winning like this with those crowd control chains trying to take down somebody. C2 just pre tremored a Psychic Screen. That would have ended the game, and I think Sam Ahem would have lost his life. Nice play from Sidu, keeping his team in the game. Trill still trying to lead some momentum here on Wizke, trying to force a dispersion as soon as possible, but not finding it. We see a silence on Sidu. Any follow up is the question. A kidney shot from Peekaboo is keeping the chain going, but it's not going to do too much with Trill and Sam Ahem both peeling Peekaboo and Wizke away while their healer was crowd controlled. Sam I am now switching that over to Peekaboo. Pressure still mounting towards WizK. Method Orange are definitely the aggressors in this position. Yeah, Peekaboo's just charging after Sidu though on that assassination rogue. That's like we kind of talked about. Assassination rogues usually just eat shamans for breakfast and he's doing a great job on Sidu so far. pre earthen shield totem will keep Sidu alive for now. Nice Cyclones coming in from Sam I am as well to slow down some of that Shadow Priest damage from WizK. Root Beam once again over onto Absturge. We need to prevent WizK from getting that Master Spell off and so so far, they're doing a good job. Yep, good crowd control from Method Orange. They've got a slight mana lead. We see Panda Racial activated on C2 New, and then the silence out of it, it does add an extra crowd control. It seems to be very effective right now. Triple crowd control for the team of the Gosu crew, trying to take down Sam I am. He's just praying that he will be able to survive in bear form with Barkskin. It's enough. He's going to survive. Trill switching his attention to Peekaboo. Peekaboo overextending a bit. Let's see if he goes out of line of sight to chase C2 down, and that is the case. Absurd will have to reposition to get back in line of sight. C2 trying to kite across the map. WizK dotting out the whole team as Method Orange retreat. Yep. The strategy that uh, the Ghost Crew is doing is really, really interesting. They want to do those kidney, uh, those, those silences onto Sidu, follow that up with the Panda Racial into a full fear, and then get a big CC chain. And then when they are out of crowd control, uh, more often than not, uh, Peekaboo is actually opting to kidney shot Sidu and then try to swap to him and apply pressure that way. However, uh, Method Orange playing a solid defense here and have a big, big mana lead, and that is their win condition in the end. Keep Sam I am from using as many defensive cooldowns as possible during these chains. Right here is the silence. Whisk is going to be changing that panda racial into that full fear. And now Sam I am is going to proc his uh, veiled eye right there. Not going to overlap it with his bark skin or his renewal. So great presence of mind there. Make sure that you don't overlap any defensives and just outlast if you are Method Orange. And keep doing that CC chain if you are the Ghost Crew. And that is the two win conditions here. I think if Whisk has been able to dispel three out of four of these root beams coming from Sam I am. So they really need to pay attention to that. Get that cross CC or in interrupt onto Wiz Cave. Otherwise, they're going to lose a huge amount of damage potential to take down the Ghost Group. All right, Incarnation Pop. That's going to trigger the Veiled Eye of Wiz Cave absorbing the hits. Trill's going to switch targets to Peekaboo, managing to pull out an evasion. Sidu has a massive mana lead. I feel like this is looking better and better, but Peekaboo finds an opportunity to get a Shadow Step kick going after Sidu, triggering his Veiled Eye trinket. Now kidney shotting him, potentially switching back to Sam I am to force more defensive cooldowns, but not actually pulling the renewal as the Ghost Group crew needs to stay in this fight with crowd control and burst. They're not winning on sustain whatsoever with Absurge almost tapped on mana. Yeah, Peekaboo lands the shadow step kick into a silence on the CD. Do they have any follow-up? There's the full fear. Really doing a good job preventing that tremor uh, is Wiz K. 
Uh, Sam I am taking some pressure, but Darkness comes out from Trill to keep him alive. Nice Cyclone. Now Sam I am looking for some counter pressure. Root Beam over onto Absurge, who is Kay's target of choice. It seems like actually Trill over on Peekaboo right now. So that is what Sam I am needs to do. Exactly what he did there. He gets the Cyclone on WizK, Root Beam on Absurge, and then everybody CC. They can go on Peekaboo safely and start generating some pressure. And they force Cloak of Shadows. So Absurge is running out of mana. His team are running out of defensive cooldowns as the Method Orange start to assert dominance. We've just stepped into dampening, and it's looking better and better for them. Let's see if Peekaboo can set up a kill for his team. It's basically all on his shoulders to get some good crowd control and burst out. They've got 14 seconds on Sam I am's defensive cooldowns. Downs, he's likely to be the target moving forward. Yep, you can see right there, Trill doing insane damage in one of the games earlier on in this tournament. Seems like he's putting out good pressure as well. You can tell by the amount of mana that Absurge really has available just all over the map, making sure he's pressuring down everyone. Peekaboo's not safe, Wizk's not safe. Full blind now on Peekaboo, or sorry, from Peekaboo onto Sidu. He's gonna be sitting in it, it looks like, with a kidney shot on the Trill. Trill does not have a trinket, but he's opting to sit it. This trinket is gonna be insanely powerful for him to survive. Uh, that's sort of been the theme of all of these games here today. That trinket just allows players to hold on to defensive cooldowns they normally wouldn't be able to. All right, Sam I am crowd controlling both WizK and Abster to developing more momentum on Peekaboo. Trill leading the charge. Peekaboo trades cooldowns but overlaps with his veiled eye with evasion. That overlap could cost his life here. Moving forward, just to the fact that Abster just so low on mana. Sam I am getting a lot of effective cyclones in this match. I, outside of maybe five seconds in this game, I would see. I would say it's one-sided entirely to Method Orange. Absurd is actually sitting down for a drink. Doesn't Ooh, match. Trill's in fight. trouble, maybe. He's into the kidney shot. He doesn't really have too much to survive. Sidu has to trinket out of that to keep him up. Now this is a scary moment for Method Orange. I think they actually procs the trinket as well. So Trill not going to have the trinket available. Sidu has no trinket. Trill has no uh, PP trinket as well. So if they can get some cross CC onto Sidu and Trill, that's a clear win condition for the Gosu crew. So the thing about the Gosu crew is they can be losing all game, but in a five second window, they can suddenly turn it around. We see good cross crowd control by Method Orange as they're leading the charge. Peekaboo's taking a page out of Waz's books, shadow stepping back defensively to avoid the attack. Sam, I am under fire. His shield is going to proc. That should sustain him for now as Sidu sits through a silence. Peekaboo's still gunning forward but after he's in a cyclone, he could be in a bit of trouble, but Trill's actually switching targets, going after WizK, trying to spread the pressure and tap Absturge's mana completely. Now with Dampening Mountain up higher and higher, stun on Absturge, Pigou dipping low. He doesn't have much left. Trill in hot pursuit, but not completely overextending, choosing to stay in line of sight of Sidu. This is exactly why he did not want to get kidney shot behind the pillar. Now, hopefully he'll be able to save his trinket due to this presence of mind, but he is dipping low. Peekaboo as well. It's a race to the finish. Yeah, Trill's in a lot of trouble. Peekaboo's in a lot of trouble. Peekaboo is spreading the dots over onto Sam I am right now. Sidu's mana still doing very well. Absurd basically Whoa. completely tapped. There's the full blind on Sidu. Can they take Sam I am down? Gets into bear form, activates the bark skin, but you can see Trill is just doing so much damage on the peekaboo. Sam I am can still be in trouble. The vanish sap onto Sidu. Trill gets caught in the cheap shot. He trinkets out and he needs to keep Sam I am alive. DR fear onto Sidu. Peekaboo gets stunned up. He trinkets out. Sam I am getting lower and lower. Mind control coming in, but the darkness will, will potentially save Sidu and ultimately, or Sam I am and ultimately does. Good teamwork from Trill. That darkness bought them time to press the issue. But Absturge, under all that pressure, was able to get a drink. He got a lot of mana back. That's going to keep his team in this fight for some time now. Peekaboo with no defensives and his Veiled Trinket just procking as well as Wizkays. That's a big opening here with Metamorphosis available for Trill in three more seconds. And Trill is not the person you want to see with offensive cooldowns available. Absturge and his entire team could just get devastated in these next upcoming moments. Sidu, Sam I am pushing to center field, getting ready for potentially the final push here at 25% Dampening Peekaboo trying to sneak in stealth get whatever advantage that he can but he's just unable to Starfall on the pillar denies it Peekaboo is forced to move out Trill is already under fire Trill now caught into a kidney shot silence on Sidu good cross crowd control this might be the five second window that they need to close this out but no denied once again by the veiled eye Trill will stay in the fight now leading the charge for his team with a fell eruption on Absturge trying to gun down Peekaboo but he doesn't cloak of shadows Despite Method Orange dominating this fight, I feel like the Ghost of the Crew are uh, crawling back. There's no question about it. And 30% dampening, that wound poison effect starts to pay dividends for Peekaboo. Cloak of Shadow's gonna be traded out. He still has a Vendetta as well. Kidney Shot now committed over onto Sidu. Uses the Vendetta as well. Shrill does not have the darkness to help him out. Trinket will proc on a CD with that silence, but a nice cyclone coming in from Sam I am to slow down some of this damage. All right, Peekaboo's oh, 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 
Fact is, well, in this case, got a cooldown for him, but now he's in trouble. Yes, the disperse. Everybody is dying. After she's got spear link totem, he's holding on to it. This is a very greedy play, but he's managed to do it. Senior trick gets oh. into a kidney shot. Nice, nice punish by Pikachu. Semi dip slow. Veiled eye gonna save him. Now he switches back to Sidu, trying to force the issue. Crowd control the ascendance as long as possible and deny the recovery of Method Orange. Dampening is ramping higher and higher. Both teams being pushed to their limit. Whiskey retreating back behind the pillar. Absurd connecting an earthen shield totem right before the incoming stun. Nice read by Absturge, making Whiskey a lot more durable. Peekaboo, though, rotting in center field. China stepping over, trying to crowd control the incarn of Sam. I am this incarnation could be devastating as a triple stun is secured. Triple silence to follow it up. Sam, I am late, letting it rip. Yeah, doing so much damage to everyone. Peekaboo uses the evasion to try to avoid some damage. Cedar pushing in as well. They sell, smell blood in the water. They could potentially close out this game right here, right now. Gosu crew really doesn't have anything left in terms of defensives. Kidney shot on Trilly. Doesn't want to trink it out too late. He has it available. It opts to just sit it. I think he has his blur available to him if he needs it. He's not too scared. CD wasn't in any crowd control, so that's good communication by them, making sure they don't overreact, they don't panic. Peekaboo has that vendetta coming up in 30 seconds, and that could be a window for Ghost Crew to close out the game. Yeah, but who do they go on? I feel like everybody's got a defensive available. They're trying to create an opening on CD for later. They've got him silenced at low health. They forced Astral Shrift, and CD is definitely the kill target for the Ghost Crew. He's gonna need to be careful. This is one of those games that has cross-kill potential written all over over it. You've seen that happen with these two teams uh, multiple times in the past. Cedar's almost now tapped on mana. Everyone on his team is low. Sam I have got locked down. He's not able to get any sort of counter pressure going or cyclones. Absurd to stabilize mana. But nice solar beam. Double stun. Whiskey not going for mass to spell on it. Absurd unfortunately is going to have to sit through that. But Cedar, look at his team. Everybody is dying. Whiskey moves in for the final crowd control of the game. He lands a mana ration, lands the fear. Sam I have ducks into the darkness to abuse the incoming pressure. Peekaboo's got Vendetta rolling on him. Absurd's got into a stun. Sam, I am still low. See you silenced. Will he be able to save him? He's got Spirit Link. He's being greedy, holding on to it. This greed might not pay off, but it could potentially. Peekaboo trying to stay on target. Everybody in trouble. Yeah, Earthen Shield Totem was enough to keep Sam, I am alive, and Sidu held on to his trinket, held on to the Spirit Link. can always use that to keep his team alive now. Spells off some of the dots coming in from WizK. WizK getting in a lot of pressure, though. Sam, I am's trinket does proc. Peekaboo getting lower and lower. No Cloak of Shadows, no Vanish, no nothing. Trill looking to close out this game. Defensive line coming in from Peekaboo with the kidney shot on the Sam I am slowing down all the damage from Method Orange. You can see Cedar trades out the Spirit Link Totem. He realized they can win the game right here, right now. Peekaboo just dodging all of this damage with the evasion from Trill. Abs are trying to keep him in the game, and Sam I am just getting so low. Method Orange were dominating this entire game, but somehow, some way, the Gosu crew are staying in it, battling it out right to the bitter end. Full kidney shot, Sam I am in a three on one with Trill in a hex. Double psychic scream, C2 trinkets to save the match. Cyclone on Peekaboo denying the kill, switched over to WizK. Sam I am doing whatever he can to pause the damage to give C2 as much breathing room as possible with Daphne so high. Both shamans completely tapped. There's basically nothing left they can do but damage. Who's gonna fall first? Peekaboo rotting, Whiskey rotting. They've got no defense left. Absurd uh -oh. is gonna have to carry, but Sam, I'm still in trouble. Cedar's ascendance just came off cooldown. That's gonna buy him oh, two seconds, but Peekaboo's just so low. After has his ascendance rolling as well. Spear link totem drop. Both teams in so much trouble. Daphne just keeps getting higher and higher. Yeah, Trill just trying to close out this game with lots of damage over on the Peekaboo. If he can hold on a little bit longer, he has that vendetta up in three seconds kidney shot on trill but Cedu's managed to top off his entire team i don't know if absurd has it in them right now top off his team peekaboo gets caught into the stun trill looking to close out this game chaos no one follows it up and it looks like method orange will strike first blood definitely didn't make it easy for him but we are <laughs> going to see method orange take this one in a very plan for it uh, because it it is a good map but Maybe they just want to have a balanced map. Maybe they just don't want the map to be even a factor, in which case Ashamans is the closest thing to Nagrand, right? Yep, no, you're not wrong about that. Whiskey and Sam, I am just going to be charging into the middle of the map, dotting each other up. He could be still sitting in cell trill, looking to get him out, manage to find him. It's the IB mount, goes into that demon form, going to be putting out a lot of pressure every time that's up. All right, let's see how much Trill can get done. He's going after Peekaboo, but now getting hexed. Sidu is silenced, not able to dispel, but Sam, I am can. Cedar actually opting to trink it very early on in the match. Whiskey just chasing him down. Trill intercepts. Nice stun to deny the win. Nice wind shear from Cedar to deny the follow-up on that mass dispel attempt on the root solar beam. 
Great job by the team of Method Orange to make sure Abstract stayed in that, but unfortunately they didn't have the damage really to back up the crowd control. Sam Am and Trill seem to be the ones on the back foot as WizK moves in. Pandoration potentially psychic scream now as Sam Am ducks recovered behind the box, taking immense pressure from Peekaboo, but Trill's trying to reverse it going after WizK. Yeah, Sam Am seem to be fine in the situation. CD's finally out of the crowd control. Uh, Sam Am now caught into the full kidney shot. WizK trying to put out some pressure with a silence on the CD as well. I thought Orange seems to be okay though. Sam I am really only trading out as renewal. It's not a super long cooldown. In the meantime, WizK could be in some trouble. Trinket will be procking for him. If we look at Mana Absurds, once again, he's just way behind compared to CD. Well, right now, WizK has finally stacked up 100 Insanity, and uh, he is going to be very tanky, and he's going to be looking to dump all of that Insanity during one of their big bursts. CD was already trinketed the blind. This could be that moment. There's the Vendetta. Be no, actually, there's no Vendetta on the side of Peekaboo. So they're just trying to bait out some cooldowns here from CD uh, by going for these swaps here. And they don't get the Astral Shift, so Sidu's being very patient with that. And the win condition, if they want to kill Sidu, is to force out that Astral Shift with a Kidney Shot into Whiskey's Silence, and then do another Kidney Shot with the Vendetta. And now we're going to see Whiskey probably going to try to move into Silence Sidu or Panda Racial M. And there's the Silence, probably into a Panda Racial Fear. Oh, no, he just gets the Fear off of the Silence here. And they proc uh, the Veiled Eye off of Samayam, and Trill as well getting stopped on that side. And this is going to allow Absturge perhaps to get a drink. And I think that's the reason why they want this large map. They want to create window of opportunity for Absturge to drink or swap opportunities to Trill if he overextends to stop those drinks. Yep, you can see Trill now. He did extend quite far to attack Absturge. He was getting rotted down by the dots of Peekaboo and WizK, so he has to come back. Uses the I beam, gets in demon form, doing a little bit of pressure with K, but they want to slow down the drinks fast surge. Method Orange, these <laughs> it's not their first rodeo. They know uh, exactly what wind conditions they're looking for here. And one of those is just out manning Absturge. Yeah, for sure. They've got that advantage right now significantly. Peekaboo's trying to pressure Sidu. Blinds him at low health, gets his trinket, silence on the trinket, unfortunately. Diminishing returns there, not going to be too much of a value stun. Nice crowd control from the team of Method Orange. That's putting Peekaboo on the back foot, overlapping his defensive cooldowns with both Evasion Feint and the Veiled Eye Trinket. So he could be an open target here, moving into the rest of this fight for another minute and 49 seconds. So you do in a position very far away. Absturge might be trying to sneak for a drink. He's off screen right now, so we have to wait and see if his mana ends up going up whatsoever. Yeah. Uh Nope. Yeah, he's not going to be able to get it, unfortunately. I think Sidu shut him down with uh, a totem there. Uh, Trill caught into the kitty shot. He actually trinkets out. Sidu got silenced, so that could be a little bit of a scary moment. But now Trill, he has no blur and no trinket. Well, they are abusing the map pretty nicely here because every single time Absturge is getting piled on like this by the entire team of Method Orange, you're going to see Absturge is going to switch side most likely. And then he's going to go look for those drinks to get some of his mana back. And then whenever Trill goes to stop them, he gets overextended like this. Sidu is going to be forced to go into the middle of the map. Boom, there's the Panda Red Shell. Twist Cake can get the fear. Unfortunately, gets shut down here by a nice Chaos Nova from Trill. And the pressure is reversed oh. instead onto Ghost Crew. I see what's going on here. Trill is running Mana Rift, which is basically Mana Burn. And whenever you see a purple circle below Absturge's character, it will explode and burn. Oh, there, there it is. Right is. There. That's going to burn his mana. So Trill is just playing for the long game and mana burning Absturge at the same time. That's why Sido is such an edge. Probably going for the quick game, to be honest with you. <laughs> One of the best ways to win this game is to run Absturge out of mana. And we haven't seen a Shaman really be down this much mana in the past. You have the Fell Eruption stun. He gets locked in place, and out of that, you can drop the mana rift, like you said. Just basically mana burns him, and it's a really nice talent adaptation for Method Orange. Yeah, and we've seen Method Orange love to try to make things like this work in the past, too. Even sometimes with, like, a Batman cleave with Mez. So this is kind of a halfway strategy here. Peekaboo getting very low and already burning more mana away from Absurge's tank. It even has the same animation that Mana Burn used to have. That's so cool. Yeah, yeah, way back in the day. Yeah, well, yeah. Uh, here we're gonna see a blind on Sidu, and they proc the tank trigger here onto Sam I Am. Sam I Am also doesn't have bark skin, so if they can get a good panda racial or silence fear, uh, they can definitely set something up onto Sam I Am and force out that darkness. Uh, right now, though, absolutely. Oh, there it is, oh. Mana Burn once again. Mana Burn out of the clone. Nice. 
Yeah, Astros so losing mana. They're, they're getting creative with it. They're doing the um, the uh, Demon Hunter stun into the mana burn and then clones as well into the mana burn. Uh, and they're really, really gunning on that uh, win condition of not letting Absturge drink at all. And every single time Method Orange is dogpiled like this onto Absturge, he needs to switch side and make sure that he creates distance because the longer they stay on him, the more drink opportunities are going to just be denied. You know what I'm actually wondering is if Mez should just play double Demon Hunter and burn him twice as fast. I mean, double Demon Hunter is just as durable, I think, as the balance here. They lose some crowd control, but if they're just looking to win on mana, they can do it twice as fast. Yeah, definitely an option. And <laughs> we know Method Orange isn't afraid to pull out the double Demon Hunter if they absolutely need to. But this seems to be working out quite nicely. I don't know if Absurge knows exactly how to respond. And honestly, I'm, I'm not sure there's too much he can do about it. He just gets stunned into Mana Burn. Not only that, but you have Trill doing, you know, infinite amount of DPS to your team. It becomes very difficult to heal very quickly at 8% dampening. There's a Root Beam onto Absurge. Stun onto Whiskey. He immediately dispersions. He does not want to mess around. Makes me wonder what Trill is dropping for it because he probably wants Unending Hatred against the Shadow Priest to maximize damage, but he also wants Big Darkness so they don't die in a stun. Okay. He's also playing Rain from above, so maybe he dropped Unending Hatred. I wouldn't think that he dropped Big Darkness, but that is potential. Nice, another mana burn on Absturge. He's slowly but surely running out of mana just as we set into dampening. And here we go. Trill just on top of Absurd, still getting the mana rifts. Sidu's mana basically complete at this point. He hasn't had to sit down for one drink. Just hasn't been that taxed. You know, this is the, one of the strengths of this composition. Peekaboo's changing targets, gets the full kitty shot on Sidu. He doesn't have, have Trinket for another couple seconds. See Trill's here trying to punish Peekaboo for this overextension. Silence on Sidu. Do they have the damage? Almost take him down into the Shadow Bird Death Range. Spirit Link Totem has to be traded out. Gets killed off immediately by Peekaboo and Wiz K. The strategy coming in from the Gosu crew could be very scary for Method Orange. All right. right now, Absolute should go and look for a drink. While they have this much pressure, Wiz K still has his Void Shift. Peekaboo has his Vanish. They could potentially reset the game here and uh -oh. really play for the long haul. You can see Peekaboo forced to retreat. He doesn't have any defensives. No Vanish, no Trinket proc, no Evasion, no Cloak of Shadows. They were able to get basically all of it there. So Peekaboo really has to second guess himself. We have to doubt his ability to chase right now because if he gets stunned behind a pillar, he can be taken down super fast. Absurd's tried to sneak a drink, but he got denied another. He life gripped him out of the mana burn. That was probably almost the last mana burn that they needed to tap Absurd completely. That was a clutch play by Wizk. Sam, I am now under fire. Can the Gosu crew pull off a miracle? They came so close in game number one. The odds seem stacked against them, but if anyone could do it, it would be them. Well, right now, they forced Cedar's Trinket with that line, so they have two opportunities. Either they swap to Cedar without using the Vendetta, forcing out his Astral Shift, and then they can kill him with the Vendetta, or they have to all in onto Trill here, who is dropping pretty low. They're gonna go for it. There it is. Kidney shot onto Cedar. Probably gonna be followed up by the Silence. It should be an easy Astral Shift here. There it is. And Peekaboo has Vendetta ready. You might just press he it. You might just yes. press yeah. it because there's no spirit. Oh, Peekaboo getting pressured away. Absurd has no mana left. How is he going to keep him going is the question. They were forced to retreat away. Absurd gets imprisoned on the Ascendance. That's stalling out the healing. Peekaboo still down at half trail trying to chase him down. Nice Cyclone on Absurd. They're keeping the crowd control going, but they can't stay on target. Trill has to solo Peekaboo behind the pillar. I, uh, maybe he's going to be able to do it. There's a lot of damage. It's Trill we're talking about here. Whiskey dogpiling onto the team here to try and soak up in the potential Earthen Shield Totem in 10 more seconds. Absturge's mana, it's on the clock. Cedar's still sitting comfy at about 40%. Trill has a lot of defensives. There's another mana burn onto Absurge. He's almost tapped. Trill pulls the trigger on that metamorphosis. His damage is going to be insane. So that's what I think. Ghosty Crew's going to try a desperation swap over onto Cedar, but Trill, yeah, he darkness. has the trinket and the darkness to keep him alive. So that's going to be very powerful. Peekaboo gets out of the stun, pops the evasion. Can't be taking any more damage from Trill, but the I Beam doing tons of pressure as he gets lower. Gets life swap there by Wiz K. Is Trill going to make a swap over on him? Doesn't look like it. Root Beam now over onto Abster. Nice interrupt coming in from Trill. And Abster is going to have to sit that CC into a mana burn. Good night, Abster just mana, and almost good night, Peekaboo. I mean, look at the entire team right now. If I was Abster, I would be screaming. Everybody is so dangerously low. Trill just switching to whoever he wants. He forces a defensive, switches to a different target. Wiz K goes oh. for the miracle play. The Psychic Scream, no trinket for two seconds. No a way. two second window. No and way. they take wow. it. Well, they can, they're still playing it out. Absurd is still out of mana. They could potentially still manage to take somebody down here with Sam I am's damage. I, I am in disbelief right now that the Gosu crew, despite 
you know, it seemed like nothing was going their way in that matchup. It seemed like Method Orange had all the pressure. They had all the mana, all the uh, cooldowns. One uh, miracle swap. Honestly, Trill threw it away with that offensive trinket before this. He could have held on to it and had a darkness, a trinket darkness get away from that one. And then they would have probably won right after that. Instead, he opted for that offensive trinket. And now Method Orange are going to be... Biting the dust, Ghost Crew tying this one up one to one. Well, it had to be three two, right? Like, there's yeah. Just <laughs> there, there's no way this isn't three two. The the question <laughs> that I do why Method Orange decided to play it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, game number three between the Ghost Crew and Method Orange. This is the upper bracket semifinals. The winner of this will secure a spot in the grand finals. The loser of this will fall to the lower bracket to face the Super Rejects. And I have a feeling that the Super Rejects are more terrifying to the Gosu crew. Obviously, as a Shadow Priest, you do not want to fight a melee cleave, let alone a melee cleave with Spirit Link. So, Wizkay's team, they need to win this series. They need to dodge the Super Rejects. Yeah, Abstergen to the root beam. Wizkay just going for a mind control on Trill. Samayam follows it up with a full Cyclone but it doesn't look like uh, Method Orange really able to find too much damage with that crowd control. All right, Absturge double stunned up early on. Seedu trying to kite away. Peekaboo seems like he's getting a lot more aggressive in this game, just gunning down Seedu, and maybe that's the only option. Just chase the healer, kill him as quickly as possible before Absturge gets burned out of mana. So far, we haven't seen any significant mana rifts. Abster seems to be sitting healthy at the mana that he's currently at. Samayam has Incarn rolling. He wants to get some damage out. He's going to be going after Peekaboo, now switching to Wiz K. Just trying to get as much pressure as possible, but the Gosu crew realize this. They've retreated back to a defensive posture. We see a stun mana rift on Absurge and some damage tossed out by Sam. I am Trill going after Absurge. Peekaboo looks like he's trying to get something going on Sidu. Goes for a blind. I think Sidu is expecting that this is a bait, but now Trill is overextended and stunned behind the pillar. Peekaboo can't get back in time to get the sap, unfortunately, so he's forced to go for a cheap shot. And he is going to switch targets off the back of this. Bit unfortunate that he was not able to land the sap. Trill was very overextended. But fundamentally now, Peekaboo developing a lot of pressure on Sidu. Yeah, Sidu gets the uh, Earthen Shield totem down. Peekaboo trinkets out of the Fell Eruption. Has to use the Cloak of Shadows. Good little pressure there from Method Orange. Good swap. Full Cyclone on Absurge. Could they force more from Peekaboo? I'm not sure. Don't think uh, they're going to be able to, unfortunately. WizK used this trinket in that exchange as well. So big victory there for Method Orange. All right, Trill getting swapped to. This is a miss opportune time there with the Waterfall. Luckily, his action just fades, so Sidu can easily heal Trill. Peekaboo tried to capitalize on the Waterfall positioning with that stun lock, but now it looks to be all right for Method Orange. And it's slowly in favor of Sidu. Trill needs to make sure he's landing these. There's the Fell Eruption. There's the Purple Circle. That's going to be burning the mana just a little bit quicker. Peekaboo's trying to step on the gas pedal and go after Sidu. It's really up to the Gosu crew to find a kill before Absturge's mana is tapped. Yep, there's no question about it. It's just so difficult. Trill is very comfortable to, like we said, overextend. Although right now he's in a lot of trouble. He has to get out of the waterfall. Trinket Prox once again. That's the blur as well. So anytime he has that trinket available, he's going to be relatively safe. Uh, that's what we've been seeing in these games so far. But now that that's gone, now that blur's gone, Trill really has to play conservative. Good crowd control from Method Orange. He's going to bank them the defensive cooldowns of Peekaboo and leave him as an open target. Peekaboo has been playing very aggressive, so they could punish this moving into the near future. Sidu constantly kiting Peekaboo, dragging him into bad positions. Wizke under fire for now. Absurge has Earthen Wall Totem. I'm curious where he's going to place it. Trill just ducks over. You can imagine he wants to go after Peekaboo. Peekaboo choosing not to overextend into that I beam. That is definitely a wise decision. Now stunning up Trill, denying the metamorphosis for as long as possible is a great idea. Yeah, look at Peekaboo. He's actually an orc now. He's given up on the panda dream, <laughs> unfortunately, uh, for them. But Trill's getting very low. He has the darkness, almost has the blur back up. He's not too concerned, it seems like. Going to be charging in. Ab searches mana down to around 45%. Trill can continuously land these mana burns. It's not going to be good for Absurge, but so far it seems like they're really denying Trill. They're putting a lot of pressure on him anytime he pushes in. Sidu's under fire now. Peekaboo comes back, puts a little pressure over onto Trill once again, but he gets rooted up. It's now Sam I am looking to pull the trigger, putting a pressure on Peekaboo, forcing out the Cloak of Shadows. Yeah, major defensives for Peekaboo have now been burned down as Method Orange whittle down their opponent's cooldowns and mana. This is still looking one-sided for Method Orange, but you can never count the Gosu crew out. Even in miracle situations, they can pull off victories. Right now, they're pinned down behind the box, looking for an opportunity to maybe capitalize on Trill, having to overextend. 
Trill moving in, trying to blade dance the kidney, but Pikachu didn't fall for that. He's going to land that. Now move over towards C2, potentially for a blind. I think he wants to try and bait a trinket as soon as possible, but he gets cloned up by Sam. I am stalling out the blind even further. Trill getting mind controlled into a bad position. This game wants to hold this as long as possible for Pikachu to find crowd control on C2. Look at Absurge too. He's sitting down for a drink. He actually got a big amount of mana there. That mind control was very, very nice from WizK, denying Trill any capability of stopping it. But still, you can see C2 is a little bit ahead. It's actually evened out relatively, uh, relatively close. So now C2 has got the full sap. I think it was a blind sap coming in from Peekaboo, but uh, C2 is not going to be drinking out of that. WizK fake cast the. Uh Windshear of CD, but did not fake cast Trill. Good interrupt usage there from Method Orange, not overlapping and guaranteed uh -oh. crowd control. Trill getting stunned behind the pillar, but with the Veiled Eye Absorb, he's unlikely to go down. CD backs him up with an Earth and Shield, but he preemptively Tremor Totemed as well. He was expecting Whiskey to fear, and I don't think Whiskey used it. Absurge getting swapped to, suddenly in a lot of trouble. He's forced to use his Earth and Totem to re-stabilize, and it looks like he's slowly but surely getting back to full HP. Dampening has set in. The mana lead not as significant as I would have expected at this point. Peekaboo gunning down Cedar. Do they have to silence? Yes, they do. Uh -oh. Cedar has Trinket. He's trying to hold on to it. Looks like he should be able to get away without you training it out. Yes, yeah, Sam, I am tossing in some off heels to keep Cedar stable in that situation. Peekaboo looks like he's retreating a little bit, wants to go for a drink. Gosu crew is being much better about their mana. They realize Method of Orange's game plan now, so Absurge are looking for the drinks early on, dampening at 6%, and mana's even. Like we said, Cedar's not going to be uh, able to go get a drink just yet. Piku, I think, got a resell, so he's going to be moving in, looking for cheap drops, looking for Karotes. Trill shuts it down with a double Chaos Nova. There is a root beam onto Absurge. WizK under fire right now, looking for the MD. Kitty shot over onto Trill. WizK charging in with the silence on the Sea-Doo. And the Panda Rachel into a full fear. Now Trill could be in a lot of trouble. Yeah, he trades out. Blur leads the attack towards WizK. Psychic Scream secured. Trill is still low on health. Trying to kite back to sea side. Dashing behind the corner. sea catches a Riptide. Trying to fake cast potential interrupts from Absurge. As Absurge is pushing forward. Mana still not a massive issue just yet, but that Mana Rift could make it a big deal. After it trades out his Earthen Totem, as they are bunkering down behind the box. Mass Dispel potential on this Cyclone from Peekaboo. Gets denied by Trill. Sidu in a good position far away from Peekaboo. He knows that he's been the target for most of this, but Shadow Step does allow him to reconnect. Do they have a silence out of this is the question they do. They trigger the Veiled Eye Absorb that will deny the kill or any potential significant cooldowns on this attempt. Now switching their attention to Trill, trying to split up the pressure, maybe bait a trinket from Cedar, but he pre-healing Tide Totemed. He's really relying on this Totem's healing, but I don't know if he can sit through a full sap. A oh, cheap shot on Trill. Cedu, is he going to be able to trinket out of this in time? He trinkets. Doesn't connect the Spirit Link just yet, but now Cedu, he has no trinket available. Trill could be in a lot of trouble, or he could get swapped to. I mean, you can see Peekaboo. He has the Vendetta available. Silent's going to be up soon. There's a kidney shot on the Cedu. Vendetta gets pulled by Peekaboo. They're putting out a lot of damage. Darkness from Trill is going to keep Cedu alive for now, but you can see Whisk K is actually mind controlling him out of it. Unfortunately for him, he gets interrupted. That was a nice play. Uh, CD basically using everything his team has to keep himself alive. All right, Whiskey under fire. Absurge's team is dipping low. This could be a good time for him to pop Ascendance to try and restabilize, but he's trying to be greedy and save it for later. This is still Incarnation. It's a lot of damage that Absurge is sort of disrespecting by not trading that cooldown, but their defensive positioning is allowing him to get away with it. See too far away, trying to avoid a swap. He already dealt with the Vendetta, so this next swap is unlikely to kill. Trill breaking it up with an Imprison should almost definitely secure the fact that CD will not be going down. Trill constantly switching to Absturge and finally starting to burn the mana down with these fell eruptions, forcing Absturge away. CD with a one-on-one -on, -one on Peekaboo, Trill on a one-on-one -on, -one on Absturge. Which Shaman is going to deal with the pressure better is the question. Yeah, CD actually fakes the kick there from Peekaboo, getting a heal on himself, securing the Hex on Peekaboo as well. Sam, I am Follows it up with the Cyclone. Nice CC coming in from Method Orange to sort of stabilize Sidu. But Peekaboo reconnects. Sidu's almost off Zundiar. There's the full kidney shot. But Peekaboo, he doesn't want to mess around. He's running away. He knows he doesn't have that much. And Trill is so scary on that Demon Hunter. Yeah, definitely. Trill getting kicked instantly on I-Beam, denying that Fury generation. That was a nice instant kick from Peekaboo. That's going to lower Trill's damage significantly during this moment. Another stun man of earn combo on Absturge. He's starting to dip low. Dampen, he's starting to get high, and the pressure is on. Will the Gosu crew be able to swing back, or will Method Orange continue their domination in Smash? 
It's relatively even. It does seem like Method Orange is ahead, but in the last game, that's what we said as well, and the Ghost Who Crew managed to hang in there. There's a kidney shot on Sea Duke. Trinket just comes up. Silence now followed up by Wiz K, but you can see Sam I am throwing out the Cyclones once again, doing a really good job playing defensive. And it seems like the role of Trill and Peekaboo has sort of shifted. Now it's Trill defending Sea from Peekaboo instead of Peekaboo defending Absturge from Trill. Alrighty here, Absturge managed to get some mana back in the midst of all of this chaos. Trill leading the charge for his team. Cedar trying to back him up, but he is overextending a bit, gets caught into a kidney shot. I think we're looking for some as cool as possible, but a Cyclone on WizK breaks up the chain. Potentially good Cyclones from Sam I am. Sidu reluctantly trades his earthen wall totem regardless. This is a bit of a cooldown overlap and does leave a potential opening for the Gosu crew to kill him later. Well, not too bad though. Peekaboo did use his vanish as well as his vendetta, so I think it's a fair trade for Sidu. Sam I am now caught into the kidney shot. Sidu has to trinket out of the blind, so he gets the blind, trinkets out of that to keep Sam I am alive, but now the Gosu crew has a lot more to work with. With Sidu having no trinket, they can make a big swap on him, but Peekaboo, so much trouble. Kokushat is going to be traded out. Absurge on top of him with Wiz K kind of panicking right now to keep him alive. Trill charges in, gets kidney shot, looking for a mana rift. Unfortunately for him, Absurd sees it and moves out of it. Nice mind control coming in from Wiz K as well, just trying to slow down Method Orange a little bit. All right, Sidu's mana is actually starting to even out here. If the Gosu crew can stay alive, they might still have potential. Full clone on Absturge. Trill unfortunately retreating away when the enemy healer is crowd control. That's unfortunate. He's going to lose a lot of momentum potentially here. WizK charging across the map. This is a panda that you do not want to piss off. Let's see if he can get some crowd control here. He's moving across the map. He's looking for the end cap. He's ready to set up for a potential kill here. If he can get the psychic scream, he lands it. Sam I am and Trill both dipping low. Are they going to be able to hang on? Dampening is ramped up to a significant margin. Silence out of the crowd control chain. Is he gonna get the kill? He goes for an MD on the Rupee, but unfortunately broke early, but WizK now on the back foot. He's overextended out in the open. Is he gonna be able to hang on? Dipping lower and lower. Yeah, WizK could be in a little bit of trouble here. Absurd still has a Spearling totem. Sam I am under fire as well. Does have the bark skin, no renewal though. Sidu still has a spirit link to fall back onto if he needs to. Sidu has an opportunity to free cast. Pops off Sam I am trail behind the pillar a little bit right now. Sidu needs to get in line of sight and get some heals onto him. Trill continuing the pressure, but now caught into a kidney shot. Doesn't want to go down, doesn't want to tr trade out his trinket too early. Still has the darkness available for his team, but he really has to be cautious. I feel like if Method Orange, they're cautious, they play it safe. They will ultimately win this game. They just can't get too overzealous, too over aggressive. I mean, Trill is the most vulnerable target. He's the one that could potentially throw this game away as he went down with two seconds left on Cedar's trinket. They need to be patient. This is the same situation. Cedar's three seconds away from getting his trinket. Just wait for him to get trinket, and then start doing some reckless stuff. Nice triple stun from Trill. The final mana burn potentially of the game as everybody is rotting down. There's not very many recovery mechanics left for the Gosu crew to stay in the fight as Trill leads the charge for his team. Sam I am backs him up with great crowd control. Wizk ducks recover, catches a shadow man. Trill in hot pursuit. The crowd control is endless as an imprisoned is secured onto Absurge. Spearling Totem, one of his last lines of defense, sneaks in a healing tie totem to try and recover, but at 45% reduced healing, it's not doing too much, man. Yeah, Peekaboo, though, counter pressuring Sam I am in the meantime. A lot of damage over on the Method Orange as well. Sidu falling a little bit behind here. Both shamans running out of fumes, running out of tools. They both have the Spearling Totem, though, as well as that Astral Ship to keep themselves alive. It's really going to be up to Sam I am, Trill, Whiskey, and Peekaboo to make sure they're playing defensive. Keeping uh, this pressure up. There's a silence on Sidu. Kitty shot on Sam I am. Can they just close out the game right now? Barskin's going to be used as well as the darkness. It's a little bit of an overlap, but it's a fair trade. We're getting to that point in the game where there's cross kill potential, ladies and gentlemen. This could end up in a 2v2 or a 1v1 situation. All the healers are tapped on mana. Defensive cooldowns have been burned out of the way. Everybody's in danger. This healing is so much reduced. Whiskey moves in for the potentially last crowd control. He pre tremored, I think. Great play from Sidu. Breaks up the CC. He's able to keep his team healed, connects the spear link, double spear link for both sides. Everybody is dead. Who's going to make it out alive in the end is the question. Vampiric Embrace, which case healing is maybe going to save the team here in the final second. Triple cap totem from Absturge, but ascendance for Sidu. Absturge doesn't have that same luxury. sidu has got big heals pumping out in these final moments, and Absturge has got basically nothing. Peekaboo hanging out by a threat in prison, secured one more hit, and Peekaboo's going to go down, but he barely sees one. What was that? He had on by a threat. Whiskey Winchard at very low health, and he's ultimately looking like he's gonna go down. Can he interrupt it at 5%? Sam Am gets kidney shot away. Whiskey, how are you alive right now? Cedar's ascendance is.
is over. Everybody is still in trouble. Sam, I am now getting reversed on, hanging on by a thread. What? These final movements, and Honda is going to come out alive. Sam, I am. Sam, I am repeating the move. Oh, it's dead. Whiskey is going to die. Oh. Everybody's dead. <laughs> Whiskey is still low. Astro as well. Trill in the game, alive and healthy. He will be able to close it out. And in some sort of miracle, I don't even know what's happening right now. Method or going to go straight to the grand finals for the first cup. And Sidhu actually is going to be playing that spirit and talent. I'm pretty sure, yep, there it is. He activated it. So Sidhu is going to be playing it. And Absturge, I think, shouldn't be playing it. And that gives them two win conditions. Either Absturge wins on mana or they kill Sidhu and spam trap Sam I am. I don't know if they're going to do it, though. And no, he's not playing Diamond Ice. He's playing normal Freezing Trap. Trill gets net rooted by the Hunter's tracking net. That was perfect timing by Jelly Beans to control it and deny any reverse magic shenanigans. Top level play from Jelly Beans early on. Yeah, you can already see the damage from Trill, though, really sinking into Jelly Beans and Peekaboo. Absolutely playing a little bit far back, trying to just keep those heals up. But Trill, Sam, I am, and Sidhu, they are not afraid to shoot, charge in. There's a triple Chaos Nova full cyclone onto Absurge. A lot of pressure on the Jelly Beans very early on, but. He gets topped off. He could be forced into the Cloak of Shadows. Now the Ghostly crew, they need to strike back. Well, right now, this is a big, big opportunity for the Ghostly crew because now they have the Vendetta and it has been activated. If they have follow-up CC here onto Sidhu, who has no trinket, there it is, that Spirit Link will fall off. If they can get one more thing, that could be a big, big opening. Instead, they pulled the uh, tank trinket off Sam I Am there, the Veil Die, so he's not going to have that in the foreseeable future. If they can actually set up an attack like that, where Jelly Beans still has his aspect of the hawk which is ready still they can really do some damage here onto sam i am and actually take him down they just need to cc sidu when this link is falling off and this could be it reverse magic from trill gets sidu out of that trap and allows him to safely save his team absurd jelly beans and peekaboo are in retreat they have no crowd control there's no reason for them to stand near trill but trill is making it not possible to escape, landing a double stun and forcing massive defensive cooldowns from Jelly Beans. Yeah, they managed to get that aspect of the turtle. That has a really long cooldown, so that's definitely a victory there for Method Orange. Absurd's rotting down just a little bit. Doesn't look like Trill's going to be uh, using that mana rift in this game, so just opting for sheer out or all out aggression against the team of Gosu Crew. Trill gets caught in the kidney shot, a little bit of damage from Peekaboo and Jelly Beans, but it just seems like the Gosu Crew, they're on the run. I mean, I feel like Trill needs Reverse Magic, so that's an Honor Talent slot taken up. He kind of needs Big Darkness, that's another Honor Talent slot taken up. And he's potentially playing Rain from above, he so is. there's not really any options for him. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, tons of damage, Absurd's Trinkets to try and save the day, but he gets imprisoned on his Trinket. Luckily, Peekaboo saves some stuns here for Sam. I have to slow down the pressure. Looks like it's more than enough for Absurd's to get out of that crowd control chain, but he needs to connect some heals. Jellybeans tries to retreat away, gets Cycloned at low health. Sam, I am doing a great job making this difficult for Absurd to recover. And now Pico is going to have his Vendetta coming up in about 10 seconds. And uh, they're going to try to force some damage onto Sidhu here, I believe. Uh. Jelly Beans, though, taking quite a bit of damage from Absurd in that clone. Yeah, Absurd into the clone. Do they have any follow up? Jelly Beans trying to survive. He's kiting away. Trill all over him, though. Looks like the pressure has faded with a full blind on Sam I Am. Peekaboo using that defensive. He actually vanished off as well. You get the follow-up sap on Sam I Am just to allow Absurd a little bit of time to recover his HP in this situation. Method Orange had a lot of pressure, and that move allowed it, uh, Absurd to sort of catch up. So it seems to me like uh, the Ghost Crew are going to be playing to that secondary win condition, which is Sidhu's mana bar. When you are playing that Spirit Link talent, you are going to be taxing your mana a lot quicker compared to Absturge, who is not playing that talent. And defensive blinds onto Sam I Am is kind of what we saw in Method Black series as well. So a lot of defensive blinds on the DPS, and that is when you're trying to prolong the game for later, and you're just trying to dish out as much damage as possible. But Trill doesn't have that Spirit Link on him, I believe. This is a good crowd control chain from the Gosu crew, but Trill gets in there to save the day, reverse magicking Sidhu out of that crowd control, allowing him to lead the charge for his team as they initiate a lot of crowd control onto the Gosu crew, bursting down Jelly Beans. He's desperately trying to duck out of line of sight, but Absurge is still locked down. Trill chasing him. Sam Am's got Incarn. That's a lot of damage. If he can get another clone, Peekaboo interrupts the chain. Good teamwork from Peekaboo. Yeah, that's really important in this matchup that they stop the follow-up CC. Imprisonment, though, on to Absurge. Jelly Beans not out of the wood yet. There's a kidney shot on CD, Whoa! but Jelly Beans into execute range. Gets taken down by Trill and Sam I Am. Method Orange will claim this series 3-1. to one. Oh, what a way to end it as well. And my question.